Hi guys, Dave's here. Today I'm going to make a simple little hat rack using an old tag of mine. I used to buy a personalized tag from my Mustang years ago and I kept my tags and so I'm going to use one of them for like a man cave or I can put it in the garage here. You can put your hats on or whatever. So if you want to see me make it, stay tuned. Okay, what you're going to need, the tag of course, you're going to need a drill, tape measure, pen or pencil, a 3 30 seconds drill bit. Uh, you're going to need some hangers for the back and some little screws for it. i got some little 3 8 inch long screws here. Uh, these are the screws I'm going to have to hold my sign on. They're sheet metal screws. They're number 12 by one half inch thick. And then you're going to need some hooks like these to hang the hats on. The screws comes with them plus the board. Uh, let's me cut down the board here and then I'll get back. Okay I cut my board down and what I done was tags about 12 inches so I cut the board 14 inches and you see, I mean, this is just a piece of scrap board. Somebody gave me this um, and it's thicker on one side than the other so I think I'm going to put the tag on the thin part of the top and let the beefier part down here hold the hats so so we're going to have an inch on each side okay right there now I need to drill me some pilot holes here. Screws here. Go ahead and screw it on. Okay, line up your little holders here. I want to mark it three inches on each end and seven inches in the middle. We'll put three on here. Okay, now that I got them fastened, I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to turn it on this way. And we're going to hang the little hooks. I need to measure them. Let's put it about, line the hoe up about three inches. So I got those fastened. Here we made a simple hat rack. So I'm gonna hang my hat on it, I can put some keys on it, I can, when I, winter time when I come down to my garage I can hang a jacket on it. Uh, the ends here if you want to, um, I can, well, what I'll probably do is put some of my steel wool and vinegar on it so it'll turn this color gray with it, with it or I can just let it naturally do it. But I mean you wouldn't have to use a board like this but I think just the rustic feel of it you can use any kind of wood that you want for it you know if you want a cleaner look or you want the rustic look um, this is a real simple project anybody can do as always thanks for watching guys